Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. And today we're gonna to be painting this silver portion of the front grill. We're gonna be painting it black and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to take it off and we're gonna be simply just painting it. And what we're gonna be painting it? Plastic dip. So um, my previous video, I may have said that like all plastic dip is bad, but it's only bad if it's on the wheels. So if you guys have it on like the front grill or anything like that, any part of the body that doesn't really get in contact with a lot of chemicals and dirt, except for like wax and like car soap and everything like that, you guys should be fine. And when it comes to this, it should be very, very simple. So let's get right into it. So when we come to the back, there is gonna be four or five screws that you guys are gonna have to take out. Um, there's one right here, right here, right here, right here, uh, right here, and right here. And a um, couple of them should belong into the logo because I'm going to be taking off the logo as well. I, I'm not going to paint the logo. It's kind of too tacky if I make this black. But in general, um, so once you guys take this out, you guys should be set. And then um, this whole entire grill portion, like this, should come out. And then um, this should be, or oh, this one, this panel should come off easily. So let's get right into it. Alrighty, so this is the final product of the plastic dip being dried up right now. It takes like a couple of minutes. I would say give it uh, 15 to 20, to at least 30 minutes for it to completely dry up. So if you place it in the sun, it, it basically dries a lot quicker. So, and the finish looks pretty nice. And uh, it's been sitting in the sun for a while now. And you guys can see the finish is not bad. And you guys can see some little bit of wet spots right there and a couple of wet spots right there so it's still still wet for sure uh, so what i did was that i sprayed it on the inside too so you can just touch the inside to see if it's dried or not to tell the difference if it's gonna be dried on the outside so uh so you guys don't have to get fingerprint marks outside so you guys don't have to redo everything again but if you guys have to redo it you, if i were you i'll let this thing completely dry and then just peel it off once it's ready so I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back on and see how it looks.
before I enter this video, I want to show you guys my small little business that I'm actually you know, working on. And um, it's been going on for a while, so I want to show you guys what I'm selling, which is Simplicity Decals. That's the name of my brands. Simplicity, sim simple is key, you know. That's, that's how I live by. So I got one in white and one in gray. So this is gonna be $4 each. And we got the Acura bumper stickers for, you know, Acura. So it starts with me, ends with me. Acura. And then we got Simplicity license plate frames. Uh, these are meant for the rear, but some people put it in the front. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised that it fits in the front. So yeah, uh, these are gonna be going for $10 each. So if you guys want to purchase one, go ahead and feel free to message me on my personal Instagram or the Simplicity um, Instagram page and we'll, we'll you know, work from there. And um, so if anything, go check it out. And if you see anything that you like, please let me know. And um, also, I want to give a huge shout out to Eric and his TL. And you know who else? TL Lifestyle, you know, with them wheels, workmeisters. One's in 19th, I think Eric's are also 18th, so quick shout out to them. They are, you know, basically the inspiration on, you know, continuing to build my TL. I think I have TL's already come to the end. So, um, further videos will come for this car soon, a little bit later, who knows. So, 